Good morning, everyone. I am happy if you also said good morning on your side. Welcome to Honpa Honganji Mission of Hawaii and State Ministers Association live streaming Sunday service. My name is Kazunori Takahashi. I am serving at the Honpa Honganji headquarters as the executive assistant to the bishop. I recently realized that I took for granted for exchanging greetings with temple members and Dharma friends every Sunday by saying good morning. I really miss it now. Our temples in Hawaii are currently operating in a very limited basis due to the coronavirus outbreak. Therefore, we cannot hold our Sunday services at our temples. However, the Buddha Dharma continues reaching us. Thanks to the help of many people, we can have services together via live streaming. It is my privilege to be able to conduct today's service and to share the Buddha Dharma with you. We will begin the service chanting Vandana Tisarana. Words of chanting, reading, and gardens will appear on your screen. Please put your hands together in the show. So now we will have chanting of Ju Seige. <clears throat> Namandavs, 
Now we will read Amesh. <clears throat> Hard it is to be born into human life. Now we are living in it. Difficult it is to hear the teachings of the blessed one. Now <clears throat> we hear them. If we do not gain emancipation in this present life, we may not be free from appearing in the ocean of birth and death for Kalpas. Let us Reverently take refuge in the three treasures. We go to the Buddha for guidance. May we always walk the way that leads to enlightenment. We go to the Dharma for guidance. May we be submerged in the depth of the teachings and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. We go to the Sangha for guidance. May we always want accord and live with a life of harmony in the spirit of oneness, free from the bondage of selfishness. Even though myriads of karpas, hard it is to hear such excellent and profound teachings, now we are able to hear and receive them. Let us try to understand the Tathagata's teachings. <coughs> Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namanda 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 Butz, my Dharma message for today's service. I would like to open by quoting the words of Shinran Shonin. Please pause for your moment. My eyes being hindered by blind passions, I cannot perceive the light that grasps me. Yet the great compassion, without tiring, illumines me always. End quote. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. And once again, good morning, everyone. It is very nice of you to observe this live streaming Sunday service. As you know, the coronavirus has been spreading rapidly across the world. I learned that about 200 countries and more than 630,000 people were affected as of today. I also learned that more than 30,000 people passed away <clears throat> First of all, I would like to express my sincere condolence to all those who lost their lives, as well as my sympathy to those who have been affected by the outbreak of coronavirus. I would also like to express my sincere respect to the essential workers including government officials, healthcare professionals who are on the front lines in this extraordinary situations. <coughs> in the state of Hawaii, the emergency proclamation was recently issued. Then all residents, except for essential workers, must stay home and work from home until April 30th. I think this situation changed our everyday lives. We need to stay home. Our activities are limited. Some of you feel lonely 
or isolated. You may worry about your family, your relatives, your friends, your colleagues, and wish that you know, they are not affected by this outbreak. <coughs> we may feel anxious, especially because we don't know how long this situation will continue. It would be good if we are not disturbed by this situation. However, we continue receiving new information. The situation changes day to day, so it may be hard to control our uneasy feeling. We always listen to Shinran Shonin's Nenbutsu teaching. What kind of guidance can we remember in this situation? How should we live with the teaching of Nenbutsu? <clears throat> Today, the title of my message is Namo Amida Butsu. I would like to deliver my message talking about the essential part of the Jodo Shinshu teachings, which is the meaning of Nenbutsu or Namo Amida Butsu. In Jodo Shin Buddhism, it is very important to say Amida Buddha's name, Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu has two aspects calling and responding. It is Amida Buddha's voice calling to us. I am always with you. I will save you just as you are. I will certainly make you become a Buddha. <clears throat> when we hear the sound of trees, we can say that the wind is blowing, although we cannot see the wind by our own eyes. Likewise, when we hear the sound of Namo Amida Butsu, we can say that Amida Buddha is calling us with its great compassion. <clears throat> then we can respond to Amida Buddha with full of gratitude, saying, Namo Amida Butsu, which means I entrust my heart to Amida Buddha. Thus, Namo Amida Butsu has two aspects, calling and responding. <clears throat> the essential part of the Jodo Shinshu teaching is that we walk the path of our lives listening to the compassionate calling of Amida Buddha, entrusting our heart to Amida Buddha's working and reciting the name Namo Amida Butsu. Then at the end of life, we will be born in the pure land and become a Buddha. <coughs> However, I sometimes hear the following comments. Sensei, it is easy to understand Shakamuni Buddha because he was a historical person but it is hard for me to understand who Amida Buddha is. Well, <clears throat> I learned that Amida Buddha is the Buddha of immeasurable light and life, but where is Amida Buddha? Well, if I can see Amida Buddha by my, uh, by my own eyes, I can easily believe Amida Buddha exists. Have you ever had this kind of thoughts? I understand that if we cannot understand who Amida Buddha is, it may be hard for us to accept this teaching. <clears throat> Once some experience made me remember the relationship between Amida Buddha and us, and I would like to share this episode with you. <clears throat> 
I had this experience when I lived on Kauai. I used to live on the island of Kauai for several years and served at Kappa Honganji and Rifue Honganji. <clears throat> Have you ever been to Kauai? Kauai is a very beautiful island and I had a pleasant time and made a lot of great memories. <coughs> and there is a unique part of the island. On Kauai, <coughs> you can find lots of wild chickens all over the place, from outside the house to the parks and the beaches, even to the parking of the airport. I sometimes find, I sometimes found even eggs everywhere. Then I came to think, if we think about the relationship between chickens, chicks, and eggs, it would be easier for us to learn our teachings, especially the relationship between Amida Buddha and us. <clears throat> Once I happened to find a chicken sitting on the eggs. When I was a minister of Kapao Honganji, I saw such a scene at the backyard of the personage. It was first time for me to see the chicken sitting on the eggs. At first, I thought it was strange because chickens usually run away when human beings are approaching. However, at that time, the chicken looked at me, but she didn't move at all. Then I realized that she was incubating her eggs. Since then, over several days, she was always there and sitting on the eggs quietly. I was deeply impressed by that scene because I felt that chicken had a strong determination of taking care of her children. I can still vividly remember it. <coughs> I didn't approach the chicken after that, but I'm sure that chick hatched and met its mother later. If we have difficulty in understanding the Jodo Shinshu teaching, we may be able to learn it from chickens. I learned that it takes about three weeks for an egg to hatch. During that time, a baby chick is in the egg. Then a mother hen sits on her eggs until they hatch. The hen knows that the, her children are in the egg, but baby chicks cannot see their mother because of the egg shell. The chicken was embracing, protecting, and worrying the chicks all the time, although the chicks didn't ask her. <coughs> I mentioned that we can learn something important from them. I think that the relationship between chickens and baby chicks are very similar to the relationship between Amida Buddha and us. At the beginning of my message, I read Shinran Shonin's words. I will read it again. My eyes being hindered by blind passions, I cannot perceive the light that grasps me. Yet the great compassion you cannot see Amida Buddha. However, regardless of our conditions, Amida Buddha is always embracing, protecting, and raising us unconditionally with his great wisdom and compassion. If we listen to the teaching and accept the fact that we are supported and embraced by immeasurable life and light, we can certainly rejoice at 
Amida Buddha's working and live our lives with firm strength. Emphasize that importance of listening to why Amida Buddha is always with us and promised to save us. It is because Amida Buddha wanted to save all beings which have fears, pains, worries, and suffering. <clears throat> In our everyday lives, we encounter different kinds of events. If everything goes well, we would be happy all the time. However, we sometimes encounter unfavorable events. It is important for us to be careful, but we cannot control everything. <clears throat> we sometimes encounter even unexpected events like the drastic changes of the world caused by the recent coronavirus outbreak. It is like the world is shaking now. I mentioned the episode about the chicken and eggs. Please imagine that if the egg shakes, the mother hen would hold them firmly and tightly. Likewise, Amida Buddha firmly embraces us all the time, especially when we have difficulties and hardships. When we encounter such situations, it is hard to change our surroundings immediately. But we can change our heart and mind through remembering Amida Buddha's great compassion and saying Namo Amida Butsu. <clears throat> A chick in the egg cannot see the mother hen, but the chick may be able to notice mother's existence when they hear their mother crying. Likewise, we can always communicate with Amida Buddha by listening to the calling voice and responding with gratitude. Then we can live our daily lives with great strength, with full of appreciation. Thus, Namo Amida Butsu has two aspects, Amida Buddha's calling and our responding. This is the meaning of Namo Amida Butsu and the essential part of Jodo Shin Buddhism. This teaching is simply described in the passages of Gassho to Amida, which we always chant in Hawaii. <coughs> when I call Amida's name, it's Amida calling me. Buddha's voice my voice are one. I got show to Amida. <clears throat> when I'm lonely, I recite Namo Amida Butsu. Then I feel great compassion. I got show to Amida. Nen Butsu in work and play. Every day with Amida. Every moment filled with light. I got show to Amida. <clears throat> this morning, I share the teaching of Nembutsu through talking about the relationship between chickens and the chicks. As I mentioned, in Hawaii, we need to stay home and our activities are limited. However, we can say Namo Amida Butsu no matter what. In addition, we can continue doing services in our home, like today's service. I hope you will take good care of yourself and stay safe and healthy, especially in these uncertain times. Let us live our everyday lives, remembering Amida Buddha's wisdom and compassion and saying Namo Amida Buddha. Thank you very much for listening.
Please put your hands together in Gasho and let us recite the Nembutsu together. <coughs> Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namandabuts, 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 Namandabuts. So now we will sing the Gata Nembutsu. <coughs> No. This concludes the Honpa Honganji Mission of Hawaii and the State Ministers Association live streaming Sunday service. Once again, thank you for joining us today. We will continue live streaming Sunday services. So the next live streaming service will be held on Sunday, April 5th. Please share this information with your family and friends. Once again, please put your hands together in Gasho and recite the Nembutsu. <coughs> Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts. Thank you very much.